Hey everybody. So when I was reading First Flight, I noticed something, right? I noticed this story was very old fashioned. I could tell from the pictures being black and white or the pictures just being about things that looked old that this story happened a long time ago. And in that, they used many words that also showed that they happened in the past. So let's talk about some words that can be changed or shown to happen at different times, okay? So um, the easiest one that we can talk about are action words because actions could take place right now, but they could have taken place yesterday or even take place in the future. So our objective today is to kind of tell the difference between a normal action that's going on now, we call that present tense, and something that might have happened before. We call that past tense. And there are certain patterns that we can talk about. So I'm going to show you a few words and talk about um, those tenses with you now. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say the ones in red on this side happened in the past. Okay. Yesterday, I talked to my grandma. Two weeks ago, I moved the lawnmower. Last night, I washed my hair. This morning, I listened to the radio. Do you notice anything about most past tense verbs? Mm -hmm. That ED gives them away. Talked, moved, washed, listened, all past tense. So in a lot of ways, it's really easy to tell that they're happening in the past because of this ED. Okay. But it's not a guarantee. Sometimes the words we use, they change because they're in the past, right? Sure. But they didn't add the ED. This is the word built. In 1905, the Wright brothers built the Flyer 3. I didn't say builded. It doesn't sound right when you say that. This is an irregular or unusual, an exception to the rule. And English is full of those, right? All right, now these words are a little bit different. If you notice what we're talking about here is we're talking about things that are going on right now. Oh, my neighbor! My neighbor right now is talking to his kids outside. Right now I am moving my whiteboard marker, moving it from one side to the other. It's going on right now. So it gets a different ending if it's going on right now. I am washing um, my clothes in the washing machine. It's going on right now. I am listening to Mr. W on my iPad right now. I am building with my Legos, right? These things are going on right now in the present. There's one more that's going to be on the activity I'm going to pra have you practice in a little bit. It's future tense. Future means it hasn't happened in the past, so it doesn't need an ED. It's not happening right now, so it's not going to have an ING. It's going to have a helper verb. So usually um, it's going to be the word like will. Will is a good helper that shows um, that it's going to happen soon, right? So instead of talked yesterday or talking right now, I will probably talk with my friends tomorrow at lunch. I will do it in the future. I will move or I will wash after lunch. I will listen to the radio later. If it has a helper like the word will, it's going to be telling you that it's happening in the future. And that is important because it's going to be in part of your practice a little bit later. But focus in on the past tense because I think that's what hits this story right on the head, right? Because it happens so long ago. Let me show you what I mean. When I was reading along, this is one of the paragraphs I read to you guys, I noticed some verbs that are telling us that it happened in the past. Orville and Wilbur Wright changed the world forever when they invented the first successful airplane. When did they do it? In the past. They changed the world. In the past, they invented. They're not doing it now. They did it in the past, right? I could keep reading. The brothers loved, they used to love. 
fixing their and building things. Their successful repair business inspired them to try. They spent many years studying. They studied how wind of flights in the air. So these are all past tense verbs. Now you'll find in the paragraph, there are also things that are kind of happening in the, in the sentence in a present tense. And that's very common in writing that you'll see some ing words even in the past, right? You'll see them saying, I loved fixing and building things, right? Well, that loved is showing that the, the present they're talking about came from a long time ago. So you will see tenses mixed in most paragraphs, but I would definitely say there are more past tense verbs in this story because it's from a long time ago. This is the activity I'm going to want you guys to do to show that you kind of understand what I've been talking about. I want you to think about the past, right? And find those. Then I want you to think about the present and show me those. And think about the future and show me those. So you're going to use the same word all the way across. So we have walked in the past. In the middle here, you're going to fill in this missing word and you're going to do it in whatever tense um, the column is. So in this case, all of these have to be ing words because they're present tense. So instead of walk, I'm going to say walk ing. Right. And then for the most part, all of these are going to be ED words, except you're going to find a uh, oddball in there every once in a while. Like if I use the word eating, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm eating a pizza. Right. It's happening right now. Yesterday, I didn't eat it a pizza. Little kids might say I eat it. Right. That's because they're trying to use past tense. But the way we would say that is we we would say yesterday I ate pizza. And in this one, we will say, I will eat the pizza tomorrow. So use your helpers, use your INGs, and use mainly your EDs for this one. Okay? Send this to me. I'd love to see your hard work. Thanks now.